the first question we have for Matthew and Hannah. Goodbye. Huh? It's the first one. I don't know. Well, well you don't know, so I'm gonna <laughs> read it, okay? So we've got the list of questions here. Let's dig in. This question is from somebody on YouTube. Okay. Seven dwarfs. You mean the. I know what Hannah means. Hannah means. Let me stop talking. The. What's been your favorite meet and greet over your trip? Uh. Oh, the barking. I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing because her shirt was messed up. Can I get up. off of you now? Hey guys. Hey. Welcome to Magical, Magical Moments. Moments. Well, we're back. Yay! Yay! And we're glad to be back. I've missed. <laughs> what have you missed? I've just missed it. I have too. I've missed uh, uploading and sharing our adventures. I've missed the interaction with everybody on YouTube and we still have been keeping up on Twitter and Instagram, but I've really missed everyone and sharing with you guys. So we're excited to get back to it. We are. Yay. Well, on our last vlog, we asked you guys to send us your questions so we could do a Q and A and that's what we're here for. Yep. And you guys, it was just amazing the response we got yes. on uh, YouTube and Instagram and Twitter. We asked you guys to also, if you wanted to ask the kids questions, so we're going to put their little video in right here we asked them a few questions so here they are matthew and hannah take it away all right we're going to answer some questions from youtube are you excited yeah yeah all right the first one is from xx santa baby and they asked matthew and hannah what is your favorite ride in all of the disney parks so hannah what is your favorite ride in all the disney parks it's the people mover. The people mover. Okay, Matthew, what's your favorite ride in all of the Disney parks? Test track. Test track. All right, good job. The next question is from Caitlin Spencer, and she asked, which resort is your favorite resort that you've stayed? Uh, I'm the animation. And Hannah, what's your favorite that you've stayed at? My favorite is the aerial room. You mean the I'm aerial the room? Yes. Yeah. The next question is from the Jones family. And they have a question from their son, Bentley, who will be four in August. He's little like you guys. Yes. Bentley asks, Matthew and Hannah, what is your favorite ride at Magic Kingdom? So, Easy. Hannah. Oh. Wait a second. Hannah, what's your favorite ride at Magic Kingdom? My favorite ride would probably be Sandworth's Mine Train. <laughs> you hey. Alright, and the last question is from Everyday Disney Magic, and they ask, what's your favorite Disney park? Which one is your favorite park out of all of them? Um, my favorite is Disney World. But what's your favorite park at Disney World? <laughs> my favorite park is... Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Magic... Hollywood Studios! And, okay, and Matthew, what's your favorite? Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a, the kids are so cute. They are. I really enjoyed doing the Q and A with the kids. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. All right, our first question on YouTube is from Anna Peterson Wyndham, and she asks, "What does Joe do for a living?" I think that's kind of a "What do you do for a living?" <laughs> it's kind of a burning question. We had several people like that, so I think they want to know. I'm actually in plastics recycling. Uh, I work for myself, so it allows us to go to Disney a lot. Very flexible job, and it we is. are very blessed, and we thank the Lord for your job. If only there was manufacturing in Orlando, we would move. Orlando, yeah, we've you guys. we talked about it. we talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is from XX Santa Baby. How did you guys get together? We need some microphone. <laughs> um, well, we met through church, seeing each other 
at church. It's funny because we actually saw each other at our dads were both pastors and we saw each other at church and didn't realize that we had noticed each other but nothing happened then and then it was the next year that yes, about a year later about a year later that there was a revival mm -hmm. going on at Joe's church and I went over there and then I was like we need to go back to that revival a little bit more you know I'm I'm really feeling the spirit with that I need to go back and yeah, and so then Joe became my piano teacher. My dad actually went up to Joe and asked him to teach me piano lessons um, because I was going to start leading worship at church, and that's what Joe did at his church. So that's how it all started. That's where it started. So XX Santa Baby has a couple more questions. The next one is, how long were you together before marriage and kids? Before... Well, before marriage, we were together for like three and a half years. Mm -hmm. We dated throughout my college time. And then we got married, and then we were married for from 2007, June 2007, until um, December 2011 is when we had Matthew. So, all right, the next question again is from XX Santa Baby, and she asked, Sarah, what is your workout routine? Your legs look amazing and shorts. <laughs> Um, workout routine. Chasing it's, the kids down the hall. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's hit or miss. Um, I, I like to do the fitness marshal. He's on YouTube. I like to do his routines, and I also like dance fitness with Jessica. I like her YouTube videos, so I like the dance fitness kind of stuff. And the last one from XX Santa Baby. Generally, are the chicken nuggets that good? LOL. Are they comparable to McDonald's? No. <laughs> <laughs> they are nothing like McDonald's. I don't like the chicken nuggets mm -hmm. at Disney. They're a lot of times they're very like to me hard and kind of shriveled up. Kind of chewy not, and tough. Yeah, a lot of times they're very tough. Like, Occasionally we've had some oh very God. tender chicken breast nuggets that are good, but generally yeah. no. I mean the kids get them just yeah, the, the best chicken nuggets I think that we had was actually, it was off of Matthew's plate when we went to the Liberty Tree Tavern. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we had like a good. special order for him to get chicken nuggets because he didn't like the dinner selection. And those were actually good. They tasted better and fresh than mm -hmm. like the quick service. I feel like they, you know, I mean it's quick. You know, they try to get out there to you really fast. But it's, it's not like McDonald's. No. The next question is from Amy Silvers, and she asks, are y'all DVC members, and if so, is it worth it? No, we're not, and... We don't know if it we would We don't be know if it would be worth it or not. We, we can't tell you because we're not DVC members, so we don't know. Yeah. We know what works for us, and right now, renting points is what works. Yep. Caitlin Spencer asked the next question. She actually has a couple of follow-ups. We'll start with the first one. Which resorts have you stayed at? We stayed at several resorts, so let's start with the value resorts. Um, out of the value resorts, we have stayed at All Star Music and All Star Movies and Art of Animation. And Pop Century. And Pop Century. I almost forgot about that one. So the only one we haven't stayed at is All Star Sports. Mm -hmm. All right, and the moderate category, we've stayed at Port Orleans Riverside. Yep, that's only moderate. And in the deluxe category, we have stayed at Bay Lake Tower. Um, the Grand Floridian, me and you, uh, or the villas at the Grand Floridian, the Wilderness Lodge, Polynesian. the Polynesian, Jumbo House. Oh, I'm like forgetting Jumbo House and, and Kadani, Kadani Village. Yep. Yeah. So all the Monorail Loop. Mm -hmm. and no, well, not the contemporary. Not the contemporary but, tower. Yeah. yeah. So that's all the resorts we've stayed at. Which are your favorites? So which uh, which out of all those were your was your favorite? Um, uh, it's tough. I've got to, I'm torn. I really love the Wilderness Lodge, partly because that was the best vacation we've had. I think, uh, and the resort played a big factor in that. Overall resort, I really love Jumbo House. I love the animals and the feel. If only their quick service was better. I didn't care so much for the Mora. But I, I'm torn. The Wilderness Lodge and the Jumbo House. I don't care much. Right. I did. I I sort of agree. I don't really didn't really care for the quick service either at Wilderness Lodge. 
but Whispering Canyon Cafe was yeah, awesome. That is good. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a toss up, but I would probably lean more towards the Wilderness Lodge because I just remember the whole time that we were there just loving it and when we came back, we loved it. Actually, when we came back, we found like this um, hand soap from Bath and Body Works that smelled like the smell yeah. of the Wilderness Lodge and it lasted for so long and every time I would wash my hands, I'd be like, oh, I wanna go back there because it just smelled so good. It reminded me of that good time that we had. So, I would say Wilderness Lodge. That is, that's a good one. Yeah. And the last one from Caitlin Spencer. How many times has each of the kids been to Disney? Let's see. They've been the same amount of times, haven't they? They each have yeah, their individual trip. Yeah, because they each had their individual trip. When we started 2015. Give us a second and then we'll tell you. It took us a little bit to calculate that. How many times have the kids been to Disney World? 11. 11 times? Yes, since 2014. 2014 was their first trip. We had a lot of trips last year, so all together they've been 11 times. Yep. In their yeah. short little lives. <laughs> Judith Mori asks, will you ever go on a Disney cruise? Hmm, that's a good question. I would like to. I would like to too. We don't have one planned. No. It's definitely what's Disney, I mean, what's not to love. Uh, and we have talked about doing a cruise. Uh, it's, it's just hard to get away from the parks right now. The kids are at a great age and uh, we probably will at some point. I think we will at some point. We've never done a cruise at all, uh, just me and you or anything. So I think I want to wait till the kids get a little bit older. Yeah. And then we'll see we'll about see. doing a cruise. Yeah. The Curtis family asks, what cameras do you use? Well, our vlogging camera is the Canon G7X, which we love. That's pretty much it. So we, I mean, we have our DSLR. Yeah, we have a Nikon we take pictures. Uh, D5200 that we take uh, still pictures with. And we just got a couple of new lenses. Yeah, we got more some recently. Lenses. Yeah, we got a 35 millimeter, which I love. love it. In in some of the earlier vlogs, we used a Sony Handycam, and uh, we had one clip with the Vivitar. Well, we used it some, the waterproof camera. Yeah, but that was Splash Mountain. Yeah, for Splash Mountain. But as a general rule, the Canon G7X. Mm -hmm. Emma Rose asks, how early did you have to book your trips renting DVC points? That's Good question. question. We learned this kind of through trial and error and eventually figuring out 11 months. 11 months in advance is a good window to get the desired resort. To get exactly yeah. what you want. Occasionally you can get some what I call last minute deals, maybe three months, four months out, but it's going to be typically a really expensive like three bedroom grand villa or two bedroom something that's super expensive uh, or maybe in a or just resort slim you pickings. don't want. Yeah. Yeah. Well I'm just going to go ahead and say we apologize if there's any extra noise like um, fireworks or dogs barking because that's kind of happening outside right now. <laughs> something we can't control. So. Mark. July 1st, yeah. local parks setting not fireworks. Sorry guys. <laughs> Next question from An Awfully Big Adventure. What was your favorite Disney film slash character when you were a child? When I was a child, my favorite was The Little Mermaid. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Hannah is like, she's just like me. She's like, Mini me she loves Ariel so yeah that was my favorite I thought I was the little mermaid I remember when I was in first grade every day in my little journal I would color my pictures of like Ariel and yeah so definitely the little mermaid and Ariel was my favorite yeah How about you mine's a little more I don't know not as interesting my favorite was Herbie Goes Bananas that was my favorite film we had it on VHS. And Herbie was your favorite character. He was. I love, but oddly enough, that was the only one of his I ever saw. I never saw the Love Bug or any of the others. Just yeah. Herbie goes bananas. And you I think I think because it came on TV and we recorded it on VHS, and that was the only movie we had. We didn't have. How cable. old are we? We didn't have cable growing up. We I had up VHS. Yeah. And, stuff. and I cried when they dumped Herbie overboard, and I watched it again last year, and I cried again when they dumped Herbie overboard. Moving on, <laughs> Amanda Lavazola, sorry if I didn't say that right, asked, how much on average do you save by renting points versus just booking through Disney directly? Oh wow, a ton. I mean a fortune. 
We don't know the exact numbers, but you can go online yourself and go to dvc-rental.com and there's a point calculator. So you can go on there and you can put in your dates and then you do the little point calculator and see how much it would be. Then you could go on the Disney website and go through the process like you're booking and see what how much that's gonna be and then you could really see how much you would save. And it can be pretty significant, even with discounts. You can. We, yeah. We've saved, at one point I'd added it, we'd saved over literally tens of thousands of dollars because the rack rates on Disney's website for the DVC properties, particularly the villas, are just ridiculous expensive. Yeah. And Bay Lake Tower, you can never get that one discounted no. uh, on Disney's website. So that's a good one to get their DVC yeah. rental, it definitely. Is. Rudy Garcia has the next question. Do you have any tips for a romantic stay at WDW? Very timely question. Yeah, since we had our 10 year anniversary not that long ago. I think something that's very romantic is a carriage ride. Were you thinking that? No. Okay. A carriage ride. We did that at Fort Orleans Riverside, which is coming up in a vlog very soon. What were you thinking? What's romantic at Disney? My favorite, I'm going to have to say my favorite experience has been the private dining. Private dining at the Grand Floridian. Not cheap, but wow. We were on the top floor of the Grand Floridian. Do it inside. Do, Do it, it inside. inside. You won't regret it. You can see Spaceship Earth out of this window and Magic Kingdom Cinderella's Castle out of this window. You can see Epcot and Magic Kingdom. Yes. It was phenomenal. The food was amazing. The service was amazing. It was very intimate, very romantic. It was. It was the perfect way that we celebrated our, it was the highlight of our 10 year anniversary trip. One of the things I've learned, we did a few trips, just the two of us, and for the romantic aspect of it, try to give yourself some downtime. If, if you're go, 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 ride, 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 and we've done trips where over the weekend, we slept maybe like six hours one time from a Friday to Sunday. Breakfast, in room breakfast. Yes, there you go. That was very romantic, that was. very sweet when we stayed at the Grand and, and not real expensive. It was no, really nice. Was nice. Just a little bit of an upcharge for the room delivery, but in room dining, a lot of resorts offer that. Uh, yeah. You can get in room dining, they'll deliver so your breakfast, sweet. and it was it was so great. We slept in, they brought us breakfast at like 9.30 or something. Yeah, you could call it. and schedule it, and they put out like the tablecloth, table cloth and, they, and said, they set it all yeah. up, and it was so nice. Joe and Donna asked, what's been your favorite meet and greet over your trips? My favorite character meet and greet, uh, the Seven Dwarfs. That was, that was probably my favorite. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, that was a really fun one. It's different. Yeah, and they're not always out. It was at the Christmas party. Yeah. We have to go see them. I think my favorite meet and greet was with Chip on the last trip with me and you because he was hilarious. Was he was fun. so, to me that was out of character for Chip. I was at the Garden Grill and he was so playful and so fun and like playing around like we had the camera out you know of course vlogging and everything and then he like took off my mini ears and it was just so funny so that was my favorite that's been my favorite so far so the next question is from melissa shawl i apologize if i didn't pronounce that right do you help promote for disney at all doing the vlogs no no we do not we just enjoy it love it and we don't do it for disney we do it because we love disney we just enjoy sharing our experience we do Basically, Disney asked, are there any specific things you haven't done or experienced yet that you are looking forward to on future trips? Meeting Lotso. Meeting Lotso. That's just, yeah, we At didn't get Halloween to. Halloween party. We didn't get to last year. No. It rained out and it just didn't work. But we were very that. strapped for time meeting characters last year. So yeah, Lotso is a good one. I'm really looking forward to one day doing Hoopty Doo because sadly we didn't get to do it on our June trip. You guys will see all about that in our vlogs whenever we put it out. Um, but upcoming, I'm really looking forward to staying at Fort Wilderness yeah. and doing everything that's there, getting a golf cart and getting to kind of decorate and have our own little cabin and go to the campfire thing along. Um, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Maybe the backyard barbecue. Maybe. We'll see. That'll be fun. Yeah. London Explorer 101 has the next question. 
and there several questions. Several questions. We'll, we'll try to move through them. We'll take them one at a time. Yeah. Number one, my favorite bloggers are Magical Moments, EECC Travels, and Magic with Mac. Would you consider a collaboration together? Um, sure. Why not? It's always fun sharing ideas with yeah. others. Number two, will you be visiting Disneyland Paris? Uh, hopefully one day. No plans of it anytime soon, but definitely would love to go. I would love to go to all the Disney parks. Yes. Worldwide. Shanghai's probably higher on the list right now for me. Oh yeah. Uh, and California. And California, yeah, California we're going at some point. We're going. Yeah. We're going, guys. <laughs> Number three. Will you be going on a Disney cruise? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, we probably will. Number four, will you be dis visiting Disneyland California? Yes. <laughs> Please see previous response. Yes. Will you be dining at Planet Hollywood at Disney Springs? Uh, I haven't thought about Planet Hollywood at Disney Springs, but there's a lot of good options there. We ate there once when it was we downtown Disney. We don't go to Disney. Disney Springs a lot, so um, we'll see. Would you consider traveling abroad? Yes, Certainly. I would. Yes, I would. <laughs> Question number seven. Have you seen Match Not Found? It's my favorite web series. It's a British web series. No, we have not. I haven't. But I'm always looking for new shows on like Netflix and stuff, so we'll see about checking it out. Thanks. Everyday Disney Magic. They asked, what's your favorite Disney park? Which we also asked the kids. So what's your favorite Disney park? Epcot. It's so hard. At least right now. They all I'm not sure have about the changes. Their, I'm gonna say Epcot too, but they're all very special. Like I've said Magic Kingdom for so long. It's just so hard. Like every time I see the castle, I get that feeling, but the spaceship earth yeah. really gives me the feeling yeah. too, so I've got that loving feeling. <laughs> like a grand and miraculous spaceship. I, love it. I do too. Breakfast at Disney asked, what are your least favorite Walt Disney World restaurants? Sorry, that's the first question. Yeah, there's another one. Least favorite Ooh. restaurant. The Mara. Mara. Sorry, you said the Bar. <laughs> the Bar is my least favorite. I'm gonna say Mara. Uh, it was okay. It's quick service. I don't know if you want for parks uh, or it just resorts. Yeah. Electric Umbrella is not my favorite either. Like Even though I love umbrella, Epcot. and I don't like, I don't like Cosmic Rays really. Rainforest Cafe, that was a bummer. Oh yeah, Rainforest yeah. Cafe, boo. Yeah. That wow. was horrid. I'm starting to name off a bunch of them. <laughs> it's uh, like now it's coming back. To yeah, me. I've tried to block out the, the negative memories. That okay, the fireworks are getting louder, guys. Sorry. Uh. How do you plan which parks you go to on which days? Good question. I use easywdw.com, I think it's .com, and then I all, and they have the monthly planners, but I think recently I noticed, maybe it hasn't been as updated, uh, Kenny the Pirate is a good place to look up crowd calendars, so that's how I plan. So I use just different websites with the crowd calendars that will let me know what parks are best to go to. But in general, we kind of know now from no. going so much, we know usually Monday is a better day for a park like Epcot or maybe Hollywood Studios because most people want to start out going to Magic Kingdom on Monday. Normally Tuesday is a better day for Magic Kingdom. So we kind of know in general which ones are the best to go to. Austin Thornhill asks, do you fly or drive to Disney? If so, how long does it take? We've done both. Mm -hmm. And from where we live, it's actually not that much of a difference. Uh, to fly, it's maybe an hour and a half, two hours quicker sometimes. Um, by the time you have layovers and taxi, I mean, just the whole process. And you still have to drive from the airport. You still have to drive from the airport. So for us, it's about a two hour difference, but I definitely prefer flying over driving. For us, when we drive, it's, it's normally a nine hour trip. By the time we stop and everything, we generally leave at five in the morning and we get there about two in the afternoon. If we fly, we plan to get there about the same two o'clock, but leave at maybe, you know, seven o'clock in the morning. Tamara Long asks, what is your favorite resort? My favorite resort, we answered that earlier, of uh, Wilderness Lodge. 
Lauren Sarge, in Jumbo House. He has a Tulsa. And she also asked, what does your dream trip look like? That's a good question. My dream trip would probably last about two weeks <laughs> at Walt Disney World. Have a variety of part time and downtime and uh, relax around the resort time. Yeah, I think I would probably have like a babysitter or use some of the services um, at Disney so we could have a little bit of us time maybe throughout the trip. That would kind of be like a dream trip to have, you know, some time with me and you, but also have fun time with the kids. Yeah. I think for me, the only other different element would be to kind of resort hop a little bit. But the downside to that, and the reason we really don't do it, is because you have to pack and unpack and all that. That's not a dream trip. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the packing and unpacking and all that, I'd like to stay at a few different resorts on a trip. What would be the dream place that where would we stay? I'd probably Little stay. Wilderness Lodge. And and probably in a like two bedroom yeah. villa or something. Yeah. The Wilderness really Lodge don't. just feels like home. It it's, does. It's nice. Our next question is from Krista Hawko. Sorry if I didn't say that right. What are your favorite snack, quick service, and table service restaurants in each of the four parks? Oh, wow. Okay, snack, quick service, and table service. Let's start with Magic Kingdom. Okay, Magic favorite snack. Kingdom. My favorite snack is probably that lemonade slushie we get from the Cheshire Cafe. Yeah, the raspberry, raspberry lemonade. lemonade slushie. I was going to say that too. That's my favorite. My favorite quick service right now, and I say right now because it changes depending on the mood I'm in, but Pecos Bill has really turned into my favorite. I right would now. agree. Table service, um, I'm going to have to go with Liberty Tree Tavern on that. I was thinking about it. Yeah, Liberty Tree Tavern. I, I really enjoy it. I would say my favorite is probably Liberty Tree Tavern also. Yeah. As a table service restaurant. Yeah. Epcot favorite snack. My favorite snack would have to be something from Flower and Garden. Yeah. Was it the lemon scone mm -hmm. that had oh, that yeah. whipped cream stuff and like that this little really like raspberry good. kind of topping that was so good uh, on a regular basis my favorite snack would probably I really like the cronut the cronut yeah Speaking of which, back to, Mag back to Magic Kingdom Dole Whip. I can't believe I forgot I know, about that. I was, I was thinking that earlier. I, I was like, that. you're passing up. Yeah, Dole Whip. Dole Magic Whip. Kingdom. Because I was crazy. thinking at Epcot during Flower and Garden, they offer the Dole Whip. Yeah. Or the pineapple sauce. Quick service at Epcot. I don't really love that. I don't quick really have one. Oh, Yorkshire County Fish. Yeah, that one's, that one's good. That's really the only quick service I care for at Epcot that we've tried. We haven't tried all of them. Yeah. Favorite table service? Garden Group. The Garden Grill. Yes. That's my favorite in all of Walt Disney Breakfast, World. Breakfast, lunch, yeah. dinner. If I could eat anywhere in Walt Disney World, it's the Garden Grill. I love yeah. it. Hollywood Studios, favorite oh, snack. I'll Hollywood. see them move on to the next question. I thought we were done. Uh, Hollywood Studios, favorite snack. Carrot cake cookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gave me that look. You knew what I was going to say. I knew it. Um, what is yours? I'm with you on Same. that. I like it. Yeah, Same. it's really good. Um, favorite quick service at Hollywood Studios. Either that Rosie's or Catalina Eddie's. We eat usually there for quick service. Yeah. We did ABC Commissary, but Rosie's or Catalina Eddie's by Aerosmith is probably. Table services. Sci-fi. Sci-fi dining. Burger. Got to get a burger yeah. when you go. If yeah. you don't get a burger, you're not gonna be probably too happy. That's good. I mean, the other options are okay, but the burger is where, where it's at when you go to Sci-fi. It is. Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Snack. Favorite snack. I like that cinnamon roll we got. Uh, the Mickey shape cinnamon oh, roll. The Kusafiri yeah, the Bakery. Yeah, the Kusafiri Bakery. Yeah, that was good. I like just the glazed pecans. pecans yeah. are really good. Yeah, and you can't find those everywhere. No, most places it's the almonds, but yeah. the glazed pecans it's are good. really good. Quick I service. usually get that. Favorite quick service restaurant source because I like their burgers. Restaurant source. I'm going to go with Yak and Yeti. I like it. The quick service. And table service. We haven't done, the only one we've done is Tusker House. And so. Rainforest, which we didn't mm, like. So. Yeah. Tusker House. Cambria 1982 asks, which holiday party do you all like more? Christmas or Halloween? That's easy. Christmas. Christmas. Yep. We loved Christmas so much last year. We went how many times? You and I went three times. Yeah, we went three times? We went with Matthew, then we went with my mom and dad, and then we went just me and you on the my mom and dad's trip. That's right. Yeah. Three times. 
It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Echo Louise asked, if you had to pick one Disney Resort hotel, one table service restaurant, and one ride, which would you pick and why? So let's start with the one Disney Resort hotel. Wilderness Lodge because it just feels like home. I agree. One table service restaurant. Garden Grill because it's the Garden Grill. We love it. If it's you don't our know favorite. that, yeah. We love the Garden Grill. Yep. And one ride. One Ooh. ride's a tough one. I know what mine would be. You do yours and I'll think about it in a second. <clears throat> I would have to pick Spaceship Earth because I'm honest, if they ever got rid of that, which that would be ridiculous, I would be broken hearted. I really would be. I mean, if they got rid of some of the faster ones, yeah, it would be kind of sad, but they could probably replace it. But I don't think there's any way that you could ever replace Spaceship Earth. That's true. I'm going to say Space Mountain, probably. I, I love Space Mountain. It's, it's a good one. It's so it's, exhilarating it every time. It thrills me every ride. time. Yeah. Every time I ride it, I'm like, wow, I didn't, re I didn't yeah. remember how fast it was and how good it was. Yeah. Disney Beams ask, what Disney restaurants are on your bucket list? Disney restaurants on the bucket list. Cinderella's Royal Table. Mm -hmm. I definitely would like to go there and especially take Hannah yeah. to see the princesses there. That's what I'm looking forward to going to one day. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Beaches and Cream uh, or what's that pizza joint at Disney Springs? Blaze. I mean, it's a chain, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Good question. Yeah. How did you guys meet? We shared that one. Yeah. Church. Favorite ride in each park, Magic Kingdom. Okay, favorite ride in Magic Kingdom. First comes to mind is People, People Mover for me. Yeah, Space Mountain. Epcot. Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. I'm gonna say, yeah, Spaceship Earth. I like it. Okay. Hollywood Studios. It's kind of tough because I like Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror, but I'm gonna go with Rock and Roller Coaster. Between the five that are currently there, I'm gonna go with yeah with Rock and Roller Coaster. But they're good. The ones that are there are really good. Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, favorite ride, Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest. Uh, it's a toss up. I've had some really good safaris, and I'm still gonna have to go with Expedition Everest though. Expedition Everest. I like it. What's your favorite spot at Walt Disney World to take a family picture photo? Really, for us, if we're gonna take a family picture, it's a photo pass. It's a photo pass yeah. opportunity, so I would say. You know, in front of one of the Aquan, the park Aquan. We probably have equal number between the castle and Spaceship Earth. We have a lot of those. Mm -hmm. I'm leaning towards the castle. We have more there. Yeah. yeah. Jan McGowan asked, how did you two meet? Which is a great question. Good question. A lot of people apparently wanted to know. Inquiring minds yes. wanted to know. And we have answered that, so thank you for your question. YouTube questions have been wrapped up, and now we're going to go to questions from people on Twitter. All right. Cherry Disney Beans asked, what is your favorite Walt Disney World resort in each category? All right, value. Value, uh, I really enjoyed All Star Music when we stayed in the family suite. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm gonna say Art of Animation because it's Art of Animation. Yeah, it's a good it's resort. Awesome. Yeah. We stayed in the Lion King suite in February 2016 and I loved it. It was, it was great. great. And the Little Mermaid room was good with Hannah's birthday. Mm -hmm. Moderates, we've only stayed at one. Oh, Port Orleans Riverside. Yeah, and it was great. We loved really it. Nice. Deluxe. Wilderness Lodge. Place. Really? Yep. Yeah. Wilderness Lodge, maybe Jumbo House. You're, you're Wilderness Lodge slash Jumbo House. I am. I'm, I'm Animal Kingdom Lodge, Wilderness Lodge. I'm a lodge person. Yeah. And she also asked, can you explain the DVC rental process? Mm -hmm. You go on to whichever DVC rental website we recommend, dvc-rental.com. Um, go to the point calculator, put in your dates, decide which one of the resorts that you want to stay at, and then you will send uh, an inquiry in, and then you'll start the emailing process back and forth. Um, you might get Scott, you might not, you might get somebody else who works there, but yeah, that's how it works. And then they'll send you a contract over um, that you have to sign. Yep and, and um, you can scan and then send back and then you have to pay all all up front so it's yeah. not like Disney where Disney has it if you go through Disney's website I think you pay for one night 
and then you pay for the rest of it. When you get there, when you do this process, you have to pay for it all up front. Yeah, that's the biggest difference between renting DVC points versus booking just through Disney World. Yeah. Is you, you pay like a hundred dollar deposit. Uh, you do pay for, a deposit. For the DVC rental. And then once the contract is finalized, you pay all of it then, right. immediately. Less the 100, right? Less the 100, correct. And that will automatically link up because they'll get all your information, all the guest information. It'll link up your magic bands and everything. So as soon as that's finalized, you can log in and start booking fast passes and everything off of that. Right, day. right. You'll get that con the confirmation. Confirmation, yeah. yeah. So then you can put that in um, to your My Disney Experience app or online. Next question from Sprinkle Me Disney. Do you have plans to be in the DVC in the future? And if you are already, what are your thoughts? We are not DVC members. No. Um, we don't really have any plans to be DVC members because, like we said before, renting points just works for us right now. And we can do a variety, of, stay at a variety of different resorts. Like sometimes we like to stay at the value resorts, and sometimes we like to stay at maybe a moderate. You know, so it gives us variety to not be strapped into this being um, the deluxe. Of course, we love the deluxe too, but yeah. I like what we're doing right now. It's working. It's very flexible. Yes. One Mouse One Dream asks, "What's one thing at Walt Disney World you haven't done that you will do this year?" Stay in the cabin. Stay in the cabin. Fort Wilderness, get a golf cart, and ride around. Go to the Chippendales campfire sing along. And a lot of fun. We're planning on meeting Lotso. You already said that. We already said yeah. it, but that's something we're planning on doing. You're, you are very excited to meet Lotso, <laughs> hugging wanna, bear. I want to And you're going to come out from the whole thing smelling like smelling strawberries. Smelling like strawberries. <laughs> Next question is from Mouse Ear World. What is your favorite time to visit? Favorite time to visit for me would be last week of April or first week of May and going to the Flower and Garden Festival because it's my favorite. It is. We love Flower and Garden Festival. Yes. Taking the festivals out of consideration, just going to the parks, I love February. It's it's a good time of climate. Lord, now they have Arc Yeah. Uh, but yeah, spring. Favorite ride for each of you? Uh, I think maybe we already answered that earlier, but I love Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. Space Mountain. Alright, Fun Family Fairy Tales asks, with the upcoming renovations to Hollywood Studios and rumored ones at Epcot, which are you as adults and the kids most excited for? Hollywood Studios. Very much. Uh, I I'm can't really wait for Toy Story Toy Land. Toy Story Land! Yeah. Yeah. If you know us at all, you know that we love Toy Story in this family and the kids love Toy Story. We're crazy about Toy Story, so we're super excited for that. Hence the reason we've stayed in the Toy Story building so much at All Star yeah. movies. And definitely whenever Toy Story Land comes out, it's gonna be, Star Wars It's not gonna be the big thing for us. It's gonna be Toy Story Land when it comes out and we're gonna have to book a trip around Toy Story That's, Land, so. Yeah. I'm excited, excited for the Epcot changes. I mean, even this week, they just released some new things they're gonna do with the Ratatouille ride and some different things that's going to be, so be coming cool. on. Yeah. So we are excited for those. Uh, Definitely need some well. updates yeah. and some new stuff, and I'd love to see more rides around the world showcase for sure. Our Fab Five ask, when is your favorite time to visit Walt Disney World? Oh, we just answered that, and we love going in the springtime. Yep. So Mac and Maddie ask, what's your favorite ride to do as a family at the parks? That's good a question. good one. As a family, what's the favorite? People Mover. Hannah was mentioning yeah. People Mover earlier. That's a good family yeah. ride. We all really like the People Mover. And Spaceship Earth. And Spaceship we Earth. Spaceship we Earth. Spaceship Earth. Yeah. And we do an Animal Kingdom Safari. We do that. Hollywood Studios, uh, Toy Story. Toy Story, Toy Story Midway, Midway Mania. Mania. <laughs> all right, now we're moving on to questions from Instagram. Cy Rebecca asks, if you could build an attraction, this is a good one, based on any Disney movie, what would it be? Uh, wow. wow, that's a good question. It is. That's one you probably want to think about a little well, bit. Well, my initial answer would be Cars because I haven't been to California Adventure yet. They already have it. They already have it. <laughs> uh, so something they yeah. don't have yeah. built. Wow. I'm going to say something related to Goofy Movie and like Powerline or something like that because I always love Goofy Movie. I think just 
off the top of my head, a Milana ride would do well. Hercules. The, I think Hercules, we talked about that yeah. before. They don't have anything for Hercules. Yeah, they and don't. we really like Hercules. Yeah. Who could be glad and gladiator? Hercules. <laughs> Lindsay Johnson asked, what are your must-dos in each Disney World park? Wow. Okay, must-do in Magic Kingdom. Thor Magic. I love Thor Magic. We haven't mentioned it in this whole set, but that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't feel like a Disney trip if we don't see Thor Magic. You're right. And the whip. And a Cheshire Cafe slushie and the people I mover. I love the slushie, yeah. yes. And the people mover. Yeah. Yeah. Those are good ones. Uh, Epcot. Epcot must do Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. For and, sure. And Garden Grill. And Garden Grill. <laughs> we have to do that. For sure. Yeah. yeah, those are my students. Hollywood Studios, Carrot Cake Cookie. Carrot Cake Cookie and Toy Story Midway Mania. I mean, for all of us, that's yeah. definitely a must do. Like each trip, we, I think pretty much we do that. We're getting, Hannah's old enough now to do Star Tours. We did that last trip. She really enjoyed it. Oh, another must do at Magic Kingdom. I didn't think about Talking Mickey. Talking Mickey, yeah. Yeah, we really like to see him. I think pretty much every trip we try to go at least once to see Talking Mickey. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, but. Yeah. Animal Kingdom? Animal Kingdom must do's usually the safari. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about as a family. Yeah. I like to go see the animals. They are. That's the I like fun. to just walk through and see the animals. I mean, that's that's fun for me. One of my favorite things at Animal Kingdom was when we did the jungle trek. Mm -hmm. And the kids are at the age now where they're really into it. Yeah. And it's it's a lot of fun. It is. All right, Mrs. Sham3 asked, what is your must-have Disney bag item for your kids? For the kids, water cups. Yeah, straw cups, you know, have the little, I like to have the ones that um, keep the water cold, you yeah. know, and don't perspire everywhere. We've had, I think the last trip we went, we had one that had a leak, so that's pretty miserable if it yeah. gets your bag wet. Um, must and have sanitizer. hand sanitizer, yeah. wipes, um, I usually bring like a little hairbrush for Hannah's hair. Sunglasses. Uh, sunglasses. Yeah. Um, if it's, you know, I'll, I'll pack some sunscreen if it is like going to be really hot, but generally we don't actually put sunscreen on the kids because they'll pull over their stroller covers and we go inside a lot. Yeah. We're not just standing outside, you know, a whole lot. So mm -hmm. anything else? Uh, snacks? With the kids, just yeah. some little, like maybe a uh, little bags of goldfish crackers or raisins or something like that. Little boxes of raisins. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Next question from Weavers Inn. I would still love to hear how you navigate traveling with two kids during your, oh, if you have any tips, tricks, etc., both on the parks and to travel to and from home to Walt Disney World. How do we get around with the kids? Well, the kids, when we travel, um, normally have DVD players in the back for them to stay busy watching DVDs. Um, iPad, tablet with I like educational games and stuff on there. So we kind of will vary. Sometimes we have like a good amount of time we leave out that we have quiet time. So we just want them to be calm and quiet. And then we will have spurts throughout, you know, our traveling because it's nine hours that we, you know, take away the devices and turn off the DVD player and we might just talk as a family or um, listen to some like fun music uh, and then I'll usually bring like a little notepad and some crayons and stickers. They always like to get new things. That kind of helps them throughout the trip if I bring, you know, something new like a little blind bag or something with stickers in it or a little surprise egg with stickers or something like that. Um, so that kind of helps us get through the traveling. So when we're at the parks, we use two single strollers for yeah. the kids. We learned that that works a lot better for us. We actually went on our first few trips. We took a, we had a double stroller that was side by side and we realized very quickly that the kids were picking at each other and all that so that was not working well for us so and also it's really really bulky to have the double yes, stroller yeah. so and if one needs to go to the bathroom you have to take the whole thing right um, also when we went to pick out single strollers we didn't want a really cheap umbrella stroller but we didn't want like a heavy-duty 
kind of single stroller so we got something kind of in between a tip going with the strollers is to bring rain covers because you will experience rain most of the time when you go to Disney at least like once on your trip um, so I mean it's a good prob probability so get rain covers for the strollers. Any other tips or tricks about navigating with the kids to the park? Um, no, I love using the Disney transportation system just because it's easier. I don't have to deal with putting the kids in the car seat and getting them back out and breaking. We them. use the buses, we but we don't use, lot, we yeah. don't use trams. No. We don't do the tram stuff. Like if we were to drive, we always walk back and forth yep. and we don't deal with the trams. So yep. we haven't done that in a long time because strollers on the trams are a little bit it's more very difficult. Tough. And that's why you'll never see us drive to Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Because it's just, it's tough. And we hardly ever do the train with the kids. Yeah. At uh, Magic Kingdom around the park because of having to deal with the strollers. Yeah. It's kind of an aggravation. Sarah F. Keys asks, what's your favorite Disney snack and restaurant? Favorite snack's going to be the Dole Whip. Yeah. I'm going to say Carrot Cake Cookie. Restaurant? Garden Grill. Restaurant? Garden Grill. Brianna Cecilia asks, what is your favorite quick service and what is your favorite table service? Well, we know the table service is the Garden Grill. Table service is going to be Garden Grill. It's going to always be for now from the ones we got. I really like yeah. Pecos Bill. Pecos, because I was thinking to me that. It's, just, yeah. it's a change from like burgers and fries right. and you know chicken tenders yeah. and hot dogs, you know. I like it. I do too. Dream It Do It Disney asks, what is one thing you guys like to do outside of the parks when you're at Disney World? Um spend time at the resort yeah it depends on where we're staying uh, a lot of times the value I mean we don't really just hang around and do as much there because there's not as much to do but yeah like you know of course when we were at the Jumbo house it was really nice to be able to go out on the balcony and we had our binoculars and look at the animals and explore and see what all the resort has to offer yeah um, Dream It Do It Disney also asked what is your favorite time of year to visit Disney World Spring, spring, yeah. <laughs> but not during spring break. No, no, no. Well, we need to be clear about that. Not during spring break, so you have to avoid. I think it's like the March through um, first to mid April kind of time, but toward the last part of April and early May, early May yeah. it's really good. The Disney Double Dose asks, What is your favorite resort you've stayed at on property, and what makes it stand out for you? The Wilderness Lodge is my favorite, and we've kind of said that, but what it makes it stand out is it just felt like home. It did. And I didn't really think that I would like, when I looked at it, I thought, why would I want to stay at Wilderness Lodge? Because we kind of live, you know, we're Southerners, and like where we live and everything, you would think, oh, why would you really want to stay there? But it was just very comforting. It is. And I uh, love the Whispering Canyon Cafe. That. Yeah. That really made it stand out for me, Whispering Canyon Cafe. And we had like an excellent waiter. Yeah. Cajun Chad Cajun was Chad. so yeah. funny. Um, so yeah. It's very relaxing at the Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. The music, the yeah. environment, the ambiance, it's just, you don't feel like you're at Disney. No. You the next question from London Explorer 101 had a couple of questions. Uh, what's your favorite restaurant at Disney? The Garden Grill. Garden Grill. Your favorite ride? Spaceship Earth. Spaceship Earth. Mission Space. No, Mission Space. <laughs> I'm spaced space out. Space. <laughs> space Mountain. Space Mountain. Uh, will you be visiting Pandora? Maybe we already did. We did. We did. Yep. Coming up in one of the vlogs. June. Yep. Our June. June. We kind of popped in there for a short. It's a brief visit. Yeah. But we are going back. We're planning an official Pandora trip. In September. With in the September, kids. yeah. Will you be going on a Disney cruise? Possibly. Possibly. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Beauty and the Beast character? That's a hard one because I like the characters. Yeah. I like all the characters on there. Ever since we've Chip got, is pretty funny. I was going to say, ever since Chip we've gotten your purse. Yeah. I've, my Chip purse. I've loved Chip. Yeah, I like Chip. And will you be traveling abroad in the future? I think that was the question yeah. for us. Yeah. Uh, we would love to. We would love to. I think Disney actually does like traveling abroad kind of stuff. So if yeah. we were going to do that, I'd probably go through Disney. We would go through Disney. We yeah. love the service that they give. Yeah. yeah. The next question is from the cast Smith. What are your favorite character meet and greets? 
Seven Dwarfs was my favorite just because the rarity of getting to meet them. Right. Talking Mickey's always fun. Yeah, we always enjoy talking Mickey, and um, I really enjoyed getting to meet Beast because mm -hmm. that was kind of different one. And the only place that you can meet him is when you go to be our guest restaurant for dinner. Yeah. So I really enjoyed that meet and greet. The cast Smith also asks, and favorite Disney movie? What's your favorite Disney movie? Cars. Cars. Um, we just watched Cars 3, so. It was really good. It was really good. The original is going to be my favorite, but 3 was really, really good. Disney Gosh, it's Pixar. so hard to say my Disney, my favorite Disney movie of all time. I really, of course, I loved Little Mermaid as a kid, but I would say just as a classic for me, The Lion King. The Lion King's a good one. That is just like to me my childhood, and I just loved it. I rules the galaxy has a question. What was your favorite trip so far this year that has not been released in the blogs yet? Uh, of course, that's hard to say because I really enjoyed when we went in May with the kids, but I loved our trip too. I loved our trip. I loved the February trip that Art Follett caught. That yeah, was, but that, that was wasn't my fun. favorite. I'm gonna say, because it wasn't springtime, yeah. I'm gonna say. Our 10 year anniversary trip. Was, our 10 year anniversary was yeah, just it's gotta be out. Yeah. yeah, that'll be we coming out. We can't argue with that. Coming out soon. Nah, it'll be a little uh, while. <laughs> Kday2229 asks, well, this is more of a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts on what you thought about Port Orleans Riverside. It's my favorite resort. Really? Some thoughts it. about Port Orleans Riverside. I loved it. Uh, it was Me too. the first and only time we've stayed in a moderate so far. Mm -hmm. And I could definitely see the differences. I'm glad that we've stayed there because I can see the differences between the value, the moderate, and the deluxe. Uh, yeah. Distinct differences. And I liked a moderate a lot better than I thought it would. I liked Port Orleans Riverside. I like the upgrades in the room. You can definitely yeah. tell upgrades in the room. And the food court the seems to be stop. upgraded. Um, I didn't like having all the stops yeah. around um, Port Orleans Riverside. Yeah. I didn't love that part. But other than that, I thought it was a great place to stay. We yeah. stayed in a royal guest room, which was beautiful. Um, I think, you know, I'd like to stay at some point in one of the preferred rooms with the kids because I think it has the little pull down bed, so we'll probably stay there again another time. The grounds are very beautiful. I it remember walking gorgeous, through, just gorgeous. taking pictures about how beautiful with the river and everything. No. It seems very quaint to me though, so I really love that about it. Austin Thornhill wants to know, happily ever after versus wishes. Easy. Happily ever after. Yes. Uh, just because we really had no sentimental attachment to wishes because we you know, We just didn't have a connection to we it. We didn't and we when we started going in 2011 We were like rides people like ride 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 so We didn't really see the fireworks, but happily ever after That's so crazy. I love it. We love it. The projection the fireworks. Amazing Mrs. Sham 3 has another question. What is your most awkward character moment? Hmm. When we met Main Street Mickey and he didn't talk. That was pretty awkward. We went specifically to see Talking Mickey and... He wasn't talking. And they he, said nothing about him no, talking. They, they didn't even acknowledge <laughs> they didn't. that he didn't. He had laryngitis, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I think the most awkward was probably when I took Hannah to see her first face character, which was Ariel. And at that point, she had only done the uh, just costume characters and when she met Ariel she was kind of nervous so that was a little awkward and I felt a little bad for her but they've gotten a lot more used to the interactions like yeah. that but at that point she had not talked with any of them so that was a little awkward but and it's a little awkward for me too when yeah. they talk. Yeah. <laughs> Everyday Disney Magic asks so far what is your favorite resort at Disney World that you have stayed at so we've answered this one Wilderness Lodge, Wilderness Lodge. slash Jombo house. Jombo house. A little Jombo for you. The next question is from Miss Karen 67. What restaurant would you suggest to go to if it was just you and your husband? I know what you're going to say because I know what you like. Citricos? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you know? Yes, because I know you. Yeah. Um, Oddly enough, we've never eaten at Citricos. No, but it was the menu from yeah. Private Diamond, yeah. and you loved it. And I did go back the next day and eat there myself. When I was not feeling well, yeah. but that's a whole 
Another thing. Um, Caponetto was nice. Caponetto, yeah, yeah. I'll go back there again. It was really good. You. Not really sure how to say this next one. She in D O W D W? Not really sure. But sorry about maybe saying that wrong. What is your favorite thing about staying at Pop Century? Not staying at Pop Century. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't really have any. We don't love Pop Century. Mm -hmm. I like that. I will say probably my favorite thing is the characters, the statues that are out there. The kids love the theming, Goofy yeah. and the surfboard and yeah, I like the theming. I would be interested to try some of the new refurbished rooms. They look very different uh, with the Murphy bed, so mm -hmm. maybe give it another try, but I'm not a fan of Pop Century. Yeah, it's not really our favorite. No. Sarah Hensley, 8907, what's been your least favorite resort? Pop Century. <laughs> Good follow up to that. Pop Century, yeah. yeah. Uh, what she also asked, what rides do the kids like and not like? Uh, the kids. Well, they shared a lot of what they like. Yeah, they uh, shared a lot of what they like. Matthew loves Seven Dwarf Mine Train. That's, Test Track. That's his favorite, and yeah. Test Track and Soren. Uh, Hannah really likes all of the Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid, People Winnie Mover, the Pooh, Teacups, yeah. People Mover, stuff Nemo. like that. Nemo. Yeah. Um, what they do not like, Matthew was really scared on Expedition Everest. He actually rode it a couple of times, but then he didn't want to ride it anymore because it's very, very fast ride. Um, Tower of Terror kind of gets him a little bit still. He's kind of unsure if he really likes that or not. Hannah, uh, Seven Dwarf, Seven Mine, Dwarf Train. Mine Train. And so after that, we were like, and she's kind of iffy about Goofy Barnstormer. Yeah. Sometimes she wants to ride it and sometimes she doesn't. Sarah Hensley also asked, and what's been your favorite resort? So we've said that one several times. Popular question. Wilderness Lodge. A little Slash jumbo jump. for you. <laughs> Sharni92, our last question. What is your earliest Disney memory? Does that mean Disney parks or just Disney? Oh, just Disney in general. I guess it's Disney. Your earliest Disney memory. Well, I went to go see um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That was my first movie I saw in the theater, and I guess that would be my first kind of Disney memory. Yeah. What do you think? What's yours? Um, I mean, Herbie Goes Bananas, the first thing I can remember that was yeah. Disney. Um, we were also talking about the Mickey ice cream bars that they had in the store. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I was like younger, that my grandmother used to have a deep freezer, and she like I would go in there and get the little Mickey ice cream bars, and they were so good. Yeah. So I remember that, and just thinking how great that was. Oh, I just thought of something. I used to love to watch the um, mouse exercise that they had, and it was like. I don't remember in my head it's kind of like 80s looking and this woman Probably was. Like, yeah well <laughs> let's not talk about how old I am but yeah I remember it wasn't a cartoon it was like the woman came out and she was like doing this like exercise stuff and it was on the Disney Channel most of the time we did not have cable we just yes. had like 3, 9, and 12 yep. so it was very rare for us to have to get to watch anything on Disney, and I was I always remember being super excited whenever we would get like Disney Channel. Yeah. Did you ever feel that way when you get like Disney Channel yeah. and be like, we're we get to watch something, something good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of questions. Woo. Woo. Really appreciate you guys the, yes. the response and the interest and all the questions, and we're looking forward to getting back to putting vlogs out every yes. week. And look forward to the one next Monday coming up. Definitely. And um, speaking of which, we have a little preview for the upcoming vlogs. And we're going to show it to you next. So I guess we'll see you next time for some more magical, magical moments. moments. Bye. Bye. Fireworks. Yeah. All right.